hi guys welcome back to my channel hope everybody's doing well in today's video i decided to share some of my summer to fall transitional shades these shades are for you know those of us that want a happy medium we still want to wrap ourselves in cozy sweaters but we still don't want to take our feet out of the pool yet so i'm hoping these choices that i'm about to show you guys resonate those kind of feels with you it's basically what i look for in my transitional fall fall shades um i try to look for something that's a happy medium you know so it has a bit of that summer nuance with that fall nuance in it so two in one so let's just get into it first one i have up here is taj mahal this is by essie i've mentioned this on my channel before this came out on their 2016 resort collection it's a dusty cream uh orange i feel like orange is the perfect shade for summer and fall because it just comes in a whole bunch of shades has all polishes do but i feel like orange is a real staple especially when you're heading into fall so for me this is just has those peachy undertones with that dash of gray in it that makes it i'm going to show you guys a quick little swatch on my nails as well this is definitely one of my favorite SEs, as I've mentioned before. So yeah, that was Taj Mahal. Second one up is one I fortunately don't have a name for because it's not on the bottle. So it's not my fault. <laughs> uh, I find I, I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but I bought bottles before where they didn't have brushes in it or they didn't have the names. Not a big deal. Well, the brush was because, you know, it's kind of hard to use a polish if you don't have a brush or if you don't have a similar color to use in place of a brush. Anyway, but this is from Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Line. This is just that perfect, this kind of reminds me of an alien a little bit. Uh, so it's good for Halloween too. So it has that blue flash in it. And also it has that violet in it, which makes it a purple. So I feel like it's a, it's a good cross between the summer and the fall. And I am in love with polishes that have blue flashes in it. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to mention, I'm also going to mention a dupe for this. This uh, is pretty close to China Gray's Tempest, which I don't have in my collection, but that is why I picked this up because I saw Tempest and I was kind of looking for a cheaper dupe at the time. So yeah, I found this at the drugstore. So this is really old, but I have used it quite a bit. Third one up here is one from Simple Colors. I got this in a D stash earlier this year. This is just the perfect transitional shade because it has that dusty sage color with those gorgeous silver flecks in it. Um, that's the summer nuance. <laughs> so I, this is part of their stone crystal shimmer collection. I wish I could get more of these polishes because that collection is beautiful. I don't get a lot of the specialty simple colors where I live. I mostly just get the creams, um, you know, the little shimmers they have and things like that. But none of the specialty ones like this. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got this in B stash and yeah, and I really love the name too, Super Cooper. <laughs> Next one up is one from Revlon, someone from the drugstore. This is called Marigold Maven. This is from their Ultra HD Snap Collection. So this is an Insta Dry also as well. And it's also 22 free. Never even knew that was possible, but you learn something new every day. And yeah, so it's 22 free of the harsh chemicals that are found in nail polish and also says it's vegan on the front so i originally had this on my fall rack but i was looking at it more as i was comparing it to another yellow and i thought this one would be more appropriate for a transitional shade or even a summer one but it has the the mustard yellow aspect and it's also really bright so that's why i included it in my transitional um rack so yeah, that was Marigold Maven by Revlon. Next one up is one that is never really talked about. This is KB Shimmer's Live in the Huggy Life. And I believe uh, that's a Danish word for just relaxing and comfort. Something something to that um, extent. But um, this is just a gorgeous dual chrome with those gorgeous holographic glitters in it. Not glitter, sorry. I want to say sparkles. Yeah. So um, super gorgeous. It has that... Um, the pinky orange uh, flash in it. It's mostly leaning towards orange, like coppery. This is beautiful. I get so many compliments when I wear this. And I feel like this polish is super underrated because I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. But they should be because it's beautiful. <laughs> so that was living the huggy life. Next one up, well next two up, are one, it was one from China Glaze. This is Summer Moon. I've already worn this, but it's just a nice crisp white for the summertime. So I really love white nails in the summer. 
um so to add a little bit of the fall on it i decided i would top it with kb shimmers take it or leave it this is an amazing topper because it literally looks like falling leaves in a bottle also when you top it at the top it, it really looks like they're falling down your nails so super cool this is one of my top toppers in my collection i think but yeah just the white and the topper pretty good transitional shade so yeah that was another pick next up is another one from essie this is called truth or flare this came out in 2015 but i'm not sure in which se which season either spring or summer it's just a dusty sky blue and it's also a jelly so it's really good for jelly sandwiches this takes about three coats to be opaque but i'm just gonna do two here but yeah it's super beautiful i think it's really perfect for a transitional shade because it has that sky blue color for the summertime and then a bit of that gray for the dusty aspect, that grungy look for the fall. So that was another one, Truth or Flare by Essie. Second to last is one of my favorites on this rack. This is an oldie but a goodie from China Glaze. This is Jamaican Out. This came out in some, some island collection. I'm not sure what it was but i know this came out with the collection that has reggae to riches in it and also tempest and those are two pretty popular colors so i already kind of showed you one <laughs> but um it's not china glaze though as you saw but um yeah this is just a beautiful coral metallic and then it has that beautiful gold flash in it i've already worn this once super beautiful i think that this is a pretty mm, i want to say stable but i do have one that's similar it's called bungle jungle by essie so that's super simple super similar to this except um it doesn't have um the gold flash has distinguished in the essie one it's more prominent in this one so yeah that was another one for transitional for transitioning into fall jamaican out by china Glaze. and the last one up i have thank you guys for sticking with me is one from Linby designs this is called gemini this is just an off-white crelly and you guys you see why i bought it yeah that blue flash as i mentioned so that is the summer aspect in this polish and then i really wanted to pick this for my transitional rack because instead of those flakies in there that you usually see for the fall like the orange the greens and the reds you were seeing the purple and i really love purple crunching uh leaves on the ground during fall time super pretty it's kind of like 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 they're like the blood like blood purple like leaves really pretty and i think that kind of resembles this right here this is also this is a very lighter purple than the leaves are but you kind of get the same idea there's the flakies in there so it represents the crushed leaves so i really love this one and it's also my zodiac sign so that's kind of fun that's not why i bought it though i bought it because i really do did an issue like the polish it just happened to be named that so yeah that was from linby designs gemini all right guys thank you so much for sticking with me <laughs> let me know if any of these shades spoke to you if it was giving you the vibe that i talked about you know that transitional one the sweaters and the pool you know <laughs> so let me know what you're wearing for fall if you decide to jump right into your fall rack and just get the colors out that you want be wanting to wear i have a little bit i wasn't really ready to stay in the summer i was kind of you know just looking to jump right into fall but i am planning to wear some of these transitional shades but i hope these gave you guys some good ideas thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and i will see you in my next video take care